So now, can you, can you turn on the video, please? I'm so sorry, because I can't have um, other sounds in my video. All right, so we are on our way to this club. Those of you who don't know, people have WhatsApp groups where they share information with one another and stuff like that. I got added to some groups. Look, this is I don't know if this is an international thing, but I got added to some groups here. Somebody in the group said that this certain place was a vibe, so we're going to go check it out. And as you know, in every one of my videos going out, traffic is a part of the doggone video because that's a part of life in Lagos. Traffic is everywhere. And on the way to the club, there's like lots of people selling mints, gums, condoms. <laughs> Listen, listen, listen to people. Who knows what's going on? Listen, who knows what's going on in and out of the club? Listen, but it looks like the KKs are getting through and we're stuck in the Uber. Um, and it looks like we're only, that's how far are we away? I don't know. But nonetheless, I'll see you all in the next video. So here we are. That's Lisa in the background there. <laughs> Listen, I'm not even going to say nothing about your makeshift spoon. I was not saying anything about it. I'm just making a video. So we're on our way. We're stuck here by this building. I just wanted you all to see this beautiful building right there. It's lovely. There's just like little pockets of loveliness. But before we got there, the, everything was just in rubble. So you, it's like there are two sides of the dichotomy here. And... Uh, we're still trucking, stuck in traffic, Sha. Oh, so, give us some history lesson, Uber driver. You're not on camera, don't worry. Uh, you want to be on camera? On camera. What's, what's camera what's? Oh, look okay. here. Look, you're the first Uber driver I'll put on camera. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. What's your name? <laughs> My name? Yes. William Salamaje. William Salamaje? Ola Dunjoye. Don't pronounce that. Excuse me? Ola Dunjoye. Ola Dunjoye? Ola Dunjoye. Dunjoye. <laughs> Okay, listen, I have to be able to, to maneuver my, my tongue to be able to get my native language, you know, because I've come back home. Listen, the ancestors have called me back home. I'm from New York, but my genes, my genes are from Nigeria. Well, I don't know. My genes are, are finding their way. I'm waiting. I'm just going to try. I'm going to travel around until I feel the spot. And the, no, not yet. No, no family tree. How is this? We went through ADOS. You know what ADOS are? Uh, okay, the African descendants, yes. the American yes. descendants of slavery. Okay, so then. once we were stolen, mm -hmm. so we have to come back and try to find now. Right. So yes. I went. We went to Bada, to Badagri to see if they yeah. remembered us. Okay. When I went to the palace at Badagri, they didn't know me. Uh, point of no return. <laughs> yes, uh -huh. but when I went to Badagri, they didn't know me. They didn't know you. No, but I you said, well, I said your... where am I from? And they said, I don't know. The country. <laughs> it's untraceable. Well, who Why, knows? I don't know if you have a generation that has the history of... Exactly. Otherwise, but you know, it's like once the... You'll be in the U.S. Exactly. Born a U.S. property forever. <laughs> exactly, exactly. No. Once, we got, once we got put on those like ships... Me. You know, they didn't care about you know, maintaining our family those tree. Those people that have gone through point of no return might not be from Badagri. Exactly. Be from because Badagri. when I went back to Badagri, they said, we don't, know, we, I don't know you. That's yeah. what they said. Because and they said that it's not the point of no return yeah. because apparently yeah. I have returned. <laughs> <laughs> they said, how could it be the point you know, of no this, return if you return? Every, <laughs> we are being bought from here and there. They can buy you from a career from a bad dog. Okay. Um, there was there's a port in Ibadan. Yeah. Oh no, really? No, 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 no. This trade is you. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go to each port and I'm gonna see who this looks port? like me. There's a port in. Uh, you can, you can I'm gonna that. go to Alhambra. Is there a port in Alhambra? No, yeah, no, in Paracourt. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to each port and look to see who looks like my people. And I'm gonna say, are you my people? Are you my people? Yeah, I gotta be. The only fortunate port. The only fortunate port is Lagos. Really? Yeah. All that's of the day, they are not that functional. Okay. And the only functional person. All right. Well, you know. And uh, the slavery issue is only through Lagos, through that point of view. Okay. Well. Far I I have not found my people yet. Yeah. But you know, I'm going to. But well, you came to find your people. Yes, I came to find my people to see who's my aunties and cousins. I'm going to look at. No, I got a person that can give you a, a brief of. I just know. Notwithstanding, okay, then I've died. 
the forefathers. I mean, but somebody has to look like me. Who oh, has my cheekbones? God can look like you. And then I say, these are my people. <laughs> I'm staying okay. here. That's how I'll do it. I'm okay. staying. Okay. Okay, right. I'm, I'm putting well, I mean, right here. Like, you know, generally, the African gene is very, very strong. Exactly. Very strong. Like, if I show you my brother, mm -hmm. my niece, yes. all my brothers, mm -hmm. even if I should use his passport, he's a citizen of yours. He lives in Michigan. Uh -huh. As you use his passport, there won't be any question. That you know he's your brother. He's my brother. Exactly. Even looks like, even if I should, the exactly. white people don't know the difference between me. Exactly. Well, this is what I'm out. going to go to Igbo land, I'm going to go to Yoruba to, land, then I'm going to go to the Delta, uh, the, the and I'm going to go everywhere now, and see that, who looks you don't like me. Do know your people is Igbo? Exactly. Is it that you are from Igbo? Mm hmm. Then, then this side. Okay. Or from Yoruba. Which other From side? Bende side. Uh, the, the, the south, south, south. South, south, mm. south. Okay. I live now. Yeah, it's, so we, we're going. From your now. look, mm -hmm. can be an evil man. I could be evil. I'm going to yeah. go back to the village this this mm. this Christmas. Yeah. When? Mm -hmm. Charlie, history did not reveal so much that evil people were more into slavery. And how did you go? Well, you know, my father is from an island that was populated by Igbos that were stolen. So it's very... Well, from my land? Yeah, my father's from an island called Nevis, and it was populated by Igbos that were stolen. Yeah. So I could be Igbo, you never know. Yeah. When yeah, I go to the east, yeah. and I'm going to look to see it's if I see any cousins. Yes. Yeah. It's good. You can start off from somewhere. Right. It's like a, like a, like a documentary issue. Kind yes, of, exactly. Kind of exactly. All right. Well, say bye to the people. <laughs> you okay yeah. back there, Lisa? Bye. Okay. I think I hear from you there. <laughs> Damn it. We had to get out of the doggone car because traffic is going for miles. Well, not even for miles. It's only 500 meters away. But we were stuck in it, a five-minute ride. We were stuck for more than 10 minutes, and there's still more than half an hour worth of traffic to go. So we decided to just get out and walk. Thank goodness I brought my slippers with me and I got my high heels in the bag. But thank goodness I brought my bus. Look, you know what I'm saying? Yes, thank goodness. <laughs> because what would we have done? Because I wasn't going to be able to walk in them five inch heels. Look. Look. All right, let's go. Anyway, the area is starting to get populated. So let's go ahead and cut out. Mm -hmm. All right, so listen, my girl Lisa here, <laughs> girl is no joke, wow, thank goodness we started, we walked, because there's people hustling out here, as soon as we started walking through, the guy was like 1,000 naira per person, stop you right on the street, and she just was quiet, moved back, <laughs> then slid between some cars, and we, and we kept on walking, thank goodness I brought these shoes. Because this was not about to work. This wasn't going to work with the high heels. Thank goodness I had the, the wherewithal. So nonetheless, I don't know what type of vibe it is yet. But let's take a look and see. I don't know where this place is.
is next door. So is there okay. the moist, and then the, you know the box out of moist. Um, shit. Is, I guess they had like less than they had fireworks. Now, oh, okay. Yeah. That was last Sunday. Yeah. Okay, I was out here last Sunday. Oh, okay. So uh, there we go. But yeah. So like, everybody walked past the lady. They kind of went. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a car moving right by us. And one on this side too. What in the world? See if she can get around these damn rocks. This girl here. Hold on. All right, so it's like spring break out here in Lagos. And everyone is there playing music. There's lots of beach restaurants. All right, let me go see what Lisa's up to. Lisa's a vet tech, so she's drawn to the animals. So there she is petting the horse. Aww. There's an argument. People, guy was rolling over a cone trying to get by. Hmm. It's stressful walking in the street and having all these cars always beeping and running, rolling up beside you or behind you. It's stressful. And then you sweating, humid, moist, clothes all wet, sand, well the sand is, that's not always, but the humidity is always, but it's like, what's the purpose of getting dressed up if you're just going to be sweaty and wet when you get there? Also, listen, if your skin ain't clear, you better clear it up because ain't no wearing no makeup here, ain't no wearing no damn foundation and all that other stuff here, so you better get your skin clear. Ooh, but you know, the humidity will also help with the, with purging the, your skin. I think we're almost there. I think that's it in the distance. <sighs> but damn it, I don't even know. We've been on a trek. Extra. 
Another place that's a little more relaxed and laid back. We're going to a lounge, meet up with some of the people that we met earlier, and then go from there. All right, so we left this club, and but first of all, I wasn't really feeling the vibe. Mamacita wasn't feeling the vibe either. And there was something about it that just really disturbed me. This happened to me an, a, another day that I was at a place. So I went to this place that was all high-end art gallery stuff. And I'm walking in there and it's like, they got their noses turned up at me. And I'm like, I know you not, don't have your nose turned up at me. We're in Lagos, right? And then we just came to this club, right? <clears throat> and I'm not even trying to be funny. So at this club, you could not sit down unless you were buying a bottle. And I'm like, we're in Lagos. And it's like, don't look at me like I'm a broke ass bitch when there's sewers, open sewers right outside of your establishment. You know what I'm saying? It's like, how dare you try to be elitist? How dare you try to be the, this, the, the hypocrisy? How dare you? And it's just, I, I don't get it. Now, so we talk about the dichotomy, but now this is just irony. It's just irony. Oh girl, this no, woman is flirting back there. <laughs> I guess she like men with beards. <laughs> so listen, I don't know. It's just, it's like people who want to be so high end and all this other stuff, but it's like, it doesn't really warrant that. It's like, come on, what did Kendrick Lamar say? Be humble, <laughs> be humble. <laughs> I'm sorry, please forgive me. All right, so now we want to leave the, the area, but it's wall-to-wall -wall traffic out here. So we want to call an Uber. Well, what Uber is going to be able to get through this? It stands still. It's like a parking lot. Like all those cars that you see on the other side are in the road. Stopped. <sighs> Look, no lie. These are cars that are just sitting here. And they've been sitting here and will still be sitting here. People getting out their cars, they driving over the embankment, coming back up the other way. It's just pandemonium. It's pandemonium out here. Look, people just sitting here. Can't move. Thank goodness we didn't call an Uber over this way. They would never get through. Never. Look, see, you see any cars moving? Miles. Miles back. So we're trying to figure out how to cross this street. Over this ravine, people are jumping wide-legging it over Lisa's gonna attempt it I'm already pissed because I fell and Lisa tried to catch me and she fell too and now we're scraped up and dirty I have like yeah. 
So now this guy is spreading the rocks wide. And with my skirt on, I can't, his foot is getting in the damn water. He's about to fuck do it going fall. And the, and the officer is like, oh, no, 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 no. So I don't know how it's going to be done. So we made it over that madness. I had to get two men to help me. One from the back holding one arm, one from the front, and then the guy in the front stepped inside the water, and then he got mad at me, because he stepped in the water. And he was like, oh, this dirty water. And I'm like, look, son, I already paid my price to Nigeria, because then at that point, you know, he probably wanted some, some sort of tip or something. But I'm like, look, I've already just fallen in this dirt. My skin is hurting and itching from the dirt. How do you feel, Lisa? Oh goodness, that face. Yeah, just ridiculous. And then people have the nerve to try to be bougie. It's like right outside of your establishment are open sewers that people have to jump across where people with their hands on AK-47 triggers are standing directing traffic with their fingers on the trigger and you're gonna be bougie about some VIP. Just right over here, lights are flickering on and off, but you're bougie talking about you can't sit down unless you buy a bottle. We got other things to worry about besides damn bottles. In this country, we have other priorities, but okay. And as long as there's this bifracted priority pattern and system, things will continue to remain the same. Unbelievable, it's like how do you numb yourself to the fact that things just are not cohesive and right? And you're like sitting down popping bottles while the sewers are clogged and overflowing? Come on. You try to get dressed up and be pretty and then you get dirt and stuff. Look, I got dirt. Dirt all over me. Skin itching, itching. Knees scraped. I ripped my damn dress. I'm just so pissed. Shit piss and water bottles. What do you mean? You saw? A human being mm -hmm. squatting over. I saw a human being just squat in the middle of people walking and put this fan fan was shitting. Where? What town was this? In, in Lucky. In Lucky? Yeah. And you, oh God. We were on the bus. We were leaving from mainland. We were going, coming from the market. And the man pulled his pants down. Just like, just like everyone else is walking. Pulled his pants down. It was Exit the roundabout down. onto Adetokunbo at Amola Street. Wow. It was like a Wendy's Frosty coming out of his ass. Ew! You're so dead one nasty. That was just... That is so inappropriate. I've seen a little girl, probably older than five, younger than ten, just pull her pants down and, and, and use the bathroom in front of a church. And her parents were just standing there. So I was like, oh, so this is... She looked a too, little too old to be pissing outside. She looked a little too young to be... But why would she be defecating in the street? That's that doesn't even make that's any that's sense. Issue. This was in front of a church, by the way. Was, they got there like a church function. What did she? Did they have toilet paper out there? No, she oh just God. pulled it right on. Out. I don't believe you. No, 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 no. We've okay. gone too far now. We've gone too far. No, 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 no. Yeah, kidding. I've seen men just stand up in the middle of the sidewalk, it, it pull out their penises and start urinating. Like they didn't care. Nobody no. else was walking, children, or anything. I still got dirt and dust on me from. It's in my hair. I don't even know how. It's ridiculous. <sighs> I'm disgusted. But you know what? A good shower will do me good. Yeah, we're not far from where I was staying at. Really? You were staying here for one and a half kilometers. Oh, yeah. I was staying at the southern side.
club? Yes. This was your first time, my second time. What is your takeaway? My takeaway.